Hello, hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zachary, the Ghost Writer. Guys, today let's talk about learner's test. Yes, I know some of you guys, you are talking to me every day on WhatsApp and you are telling me about certain things that you know you're struggling with, especially with the Blue K53 app. And some of you guys, you are saying, you know, there are questions that you face when you're going to write the test that you didn't see on the app. And the biggest question is that, is this app have all the questions? And the answer is no. The app has 90% of the questions. And I can tell you that for free. I used to hear people saying the app has all the questions. It doesn't have all the questions. But it has all the important questions that you're going to face. 90%. That's why it's important for you to master the app. And get that 90% right. Because of if you get 22 out of 30 you are still lacking on this app. And if you are getting 24 out of 30 on this app, imagine when those random questions, they just come out of nowhere, how affected your results might be. Simply because of, let me put it this way. There are questions that even the books, they don't have when you check them. And then again, there are questions that you might think the books don't have. But after we start talking, we go back and forth. You hear the person like, oh, I didn't know about that. We're like, yeah, even the app has that question. And one more thing that you need to know, guys, is that once you want to pass this test, once you, what, if you want to eliminate those difficult questions that may come, you need to find the K53 app, the blue one, master the app. You need to go and find books. Borrow books if you can. Work on those books, mostly the latest editions, because the old editions, they don't have the additional road signs, because they added more signs there that you might be shocked when you see them on the laptop or, or on the computer. And also go and find the image finder. Because it's the image search, by the way. Is the image search once you get the image search you go in there and the image search will give you these signs once again I'm gonna put the signs there so that you will know the sign you will know the meaning of the sign and you will also know what to do when you see the sign because of I was talking to my beautiful sister I think it was yesterday or two days ago and she was telling me about the other road sign that is everywhere. I see it all the time when I'm driving. And she didn't see that sign and she didn't know where she can get the sign. But after we went to the image search, that's when she found the sign and she was like, I always, I was struggling with this sign. And, and the problem is, once they drop those questions randomly and you don't have the chance to screenshot those questions that you're struggling with. So what you need to do, once you find questions that you struggle with or you didn't see before, find something that will make you remember. And, and here's the easy way of doing it. Once you master the app, once you do the app every day, because let me tell you something, I studied that app in a way that I was writing a test even if when I know the answer. So I get 30 out of 30, but I still wrote the test over and over again. I wrote the test until I get bored. I wrote the test whereby when I start reading the question, before I can even finish the question, I know the answer already. I don't have to go to A, B, and C. I already know that this one is C, this one is B. I had to do that. And that really helped me because of by the time I sit down, you know, on that computer to start writing the test, once those questions keep coming, I just knew them right away. Oh, this one is B, this one is C, this one is B. Based on the tone of the question, because I've, I've done it over and over again. In my head, I still get those answers and questions, because I did it repeatedly. But the problem about the majority of you guys, once you get total two times or three times, you're like, I got this one. Those questions need to be in your head, in a way that when you sit down, automatically, you, you just see everything. 
The same way I was even talking about when you go to, you know, the, you, you book for your driver's test. You need to go to that place, look at that place over and over again, and have the, you know, the whole place in your head. In a way that even if when you sleep and when you wake up, you can remember exactly that I know that's the step he is there. I know the other joking is there. You need to know it. You need to have all these questions in your head. That's why we say put in the work. If you don't want to put in the work, you have to put the money. And that's become a problem. Because if you're paying for something that you can, you know, go and, and get it. And if you put the money instead of putting in the work, yeah, we're going to find out that you, you just took out the robot right there. And we're like, but the person, why did the person just drove excited to the robot? What's the problem? Didn't you see? The person, I, I didn't see it. So you need to be aware if you're starting for code 10, when you get there, don't pick code 8. Because if you feel like, okay, somebody told me that code 8 is better, and you pick that one. Or you, you study for code 8, and when you get there, somebody said, if you do code 10, you're going to get a job, and you go for code 10. You, you're going to be shocked, because of they're going to ask you some, some stuff that you didn't even know. Because I was shocked when I even see the equation about when, when, when there is a construction site going on in the road. You know, there are people who you see them waving the red flag. They wanted to know the size of that red flag. And I had to go to the construction site and ask those gentlemen that I need to know. So we have to do the measurement. So you have to go the extra mile. I know when you are having the load in your, in your vehicle or in your car, then there is the other white flags that you put in this and that. That one is there on the app. That one is there on the book. So guys, you need to be fully prepared. I just wanted to talk to you about that because I think it's something that gives us a problem. And guys, I wish you well. I know even if you go there, you're right, and you don't pass, remember, go there and ask for your failing results. Don't take the screenshot. Go and fa take those, you know, failing results, even if you fail. You, you're going to you, you learn something because of now, you know where your weakness is, you know where you can improve, you know, you know what to do, and you know what not to do, and it, it becomes better. Because I hear people say, oh, the first time I went there, it was the old signs, now I wrote, it's... Now is the rules of the road. Yeah, it's because of you are booking while you are not ready. And you cannot play the guesswork. You need to know the answer. You need to know that sign. You need to understand that sign. You need to know the meaning of that sign. And you need to know what to do when you see that sign. Guys, I appreciate you guys for your support. Thank you.